Well, Ryan, just navigating through their lineup, what was the focus for you that kind of slowed you down get the, get the best of them to Yeah, uh, you know, it was just a matter of just attacking guys early. Um, they're pretty aggressive, but, you know, just the big thing for me is just kind of setting the tone and um, really putting them in situations where they really have to continue swinging and not getting to counts where they can kind of look for certain pitches, keeping them off balance that way. So anytime you can attack guys and stay aggressive on the mound and put them in uh, counts where they have to be a little less uh, selective and have to chase a little more is always a good thing. What's it been like? Because now that you've had the opportunity to work with Will as well as Austin, what's it been like working with them and really, I mean, finding ways to attack? Yeah, I think it's been it's been great. You know, um, I think it's just a matter of kind of learning each other, um, getting on the same uh, same uh, plan. But it's it's just a matter of kind of working through them, having them catch me a little bit, and kind of getting on the same page. But that's kind of what's been big about like in between innings, kind of talking through things, having an idea of what you're wanting to do the next couple of batters. So uh, it's just been good, and I think it's just going to continue to evolve, just being able to work with them more. And of course, tonight victory is a, is a way of showing how you can win no matter what the circumstances on the field. Yeah, you know, um, you got to be ready for anything. And, you know, Kershaw threw great today. It's great to have him back. And um, it's just a tight ball game, so you just want to keep your team in, involved there and kind of give them a chance to win it late. And, you know, uh, we'll continue to fight, and we put some good at-bats later on. And, you know, it's good to get a win like that. And of course, at the end, it's where fundamentals really pay off. Yeah, 100%. Um, just really... Uh, from a pitching standpoint, attacking, keeping guys off balance, and then from a hitting, you know, really uh, executing your game plan, not swinging at anything out of the zone, and you know, guys were doing that and putting uh, good swings on the ball. Is there something to just coming in behind Peyton Kershaw? I mean, it's it's pretty electric <laughs> just being able to watch that. Um, you know, you kind of he's been doing this a long time and at such a high level. So um, I'm going to try to pick his brain as much as possible throughout this time, and you know. Just, it's really cool to kind of be able to say that, you know, your first uh, game at Dodger Stadium was following Clayton Kershaw when he just been so dominant in his career, so that was pretty cool. On your pickoff team on the second try over there, what did you see? Yeah, it wasn't by, maybe the first one was kind of just let him know, like, hey, we're keeping an eye on you, and then he kind of just kept dancing over there, so uh, I, didn't, I don't think it really struck me until after we kind of picked him off that, hey, that was the third one, but when you kind of see a guy like dance like that and really get off the base like that, you're going to take your chances. Is it harder like with, with those restrictions? Like it's kind of in the back of your mind, like you know, should I throw over? Or not? Mm, not necessarily. Um, I, th I think you just kind of mix up your looks and times like that, and it'll, that'll keep guys honest for the most part. But um, it's always good when you're kind of catch him out of the corner, right? especially as a lefty, when you kind of see him moving like that. It's a little easier for us to kind of take your chance and really uh, try to get him.